Hey guys, it's Asteria, and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf. So, as you can see behind me, I was able to get the QR scanner in between these episodes, so we can work on that today. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I scanned in. It's all <laughs> galaxy themed, of course. I scanned in this beautiful dress, which I'm going to go ahead and put on. You may notice that my character looks a little different. That is because I found some things in the store in between episodes and went ahead and bought them. But I think we're going to wear this. Oh wait, maybe not right now. My inventory is full apparently. And then I also scanned in this path, which is the snowy version of this one. But I think we might go with this one anyways, just because I like the way it looks better. These paths are temporary. I'm going to set them out just so we can get the design or like the layout of the paths, I guess. And then I'm going to be moving in new villagers, which will have all the paths in their little design space or whatever. I like my mare to have a lot of extra room for QR codes and designs and whatnot so that she can have different outfits. And then, as you can see down here, I made these crummy little, they're not the best looking, but they're basically placeholders for things that I will want to put throughout the town. So a lot of the episode is going to be that, but I'll probably cut a lot of it out, but Isabel is wanting to talk to us about our little town development thingy. <laughs> So actually, we should probably go ahead and check the shops while we're here. And I'm sorry if on the bottom screen you notice a weird light. I'm actually recording during the day for once. And it's actually kind of a bad thing because my window causes it to mess up a little. But it's okay. Let's see what the label has. Um, these are kind of cool. I don't have any room in my inventory, but I'd like to try them on. <laughs> they don't suit us too much, so I don't think we'll go with that. No, thank you, and I don't really see anything else in here that I really want, so let's go to the little nooks, see what they have. Oh, I also decided what I want the exterior of our house to be like. Do we have any fossils? Hold on. We do. Ooh, I forgot to take something to a villager, apparently. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take those fossils to Blathers, but I want our exterior of our house to be a blue palace because in Solitude in Skyrim, the big castle is called the blue palace, so I, I think our house should look like a blue palace, you know, it makes sense. Let's go ahead and talk to Blathers real quick, see if we have these fossils or not. I kind of hope we don't because I'd like to have the money. Oh, apparently one of them we don't have yet. He's acting pretty excited about it. So let's go ahead and see what that is. So we had one, now what's this one? An Ankleo, I think, skull? Okay, that's cool. We will sell that or donate that, I guess. <laughs> okay, so now we will go visit the little nooks. I'm excited now that I figured out what I want our house to look like. It's gonna look so cool. Oh, we should also go in here because I think he sells axes. So yeah, I need some of those because we have like two really inconvenient trees in front of my house. And luckily enough, he has an axe. This is good. Let's go ahead and buy this. I think in next episode, I'm probably going to visit my other town, Windhelm, so that I can bring some flowers over. Although, I don't know, I might wait until we can get the beautiful town ordinance, just so I'm not having to, like, worry about the flowers dying, but... I don't know, we might not turn that on yet anyways, because I kind of want golden roses. I think that could look cool, having those around. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Now, what does Tommy have today? Nothing that exciting! Perfect! <laughs> Let's just go ahead and leave them. Okay, so we'll go to Nook's Homes now, see if there's any of the blue things I want. I'll put a picture, like I found some inspiration on Google. I'll put the picture here if I can find it again. But this is kind of how I want the house to end up looking. Oh, and it looks like the stone that I was wanting was here. So we will go ahead and buy this. I know I looked at it a couple of episodes ago, but I wasn't sure. But I really like the way it looks. It's blue, fits in with the theme, so we're gonna take it. 
And I don't think we could do anything else anyways right now, but I don't really see anything else, so we'll go ahead and leave. Oh, and I was mentioning that I might open my gates today, like after I upload this. I'm actually not going to be doing that because I realized that the day I'm going to be uploading this is me and my boyfriend's anniversary. I also just realized something else I wanted to do. But yeah, I'm sorry I'm not going to open up my gates. I feel kind of bad, but hopefully sometime this weekend or something. But I took my 3DS out with me, and I did street pass at least somebody, but that at least somebody was probably just me because I did street pass myself. But let's go ahead and look at the showcase. Because at least now, hopefully, we'll have one home. If we didn't have to set anything up first, we might have had to set something up. Okay, to begin, I'll need to know your name. Could you tell me? Okay, Miss Wisteria. Oh, that means you're the mayor of Solitude, right? My sister has told me all about you. Your secretary, Isabel, is actually my twin sister. Oh, the stories I could tell you about her. She got in so much trouble when she was a pup. Oh. <laughs> Er, uh, pardon me, I seem to have sidetracked our little conversation for a moment. Okay, now that I have your name, let me explain what the HH Showcase is all about. In our showcase, we have models of Happy Home Academy members' homes on display for all to enjoy. If you activate Street Pass, you can share your home with other HHA members. And in turn, you'll also get to see their homes- Okay, so I don't think we have any homes in there yet, because I didn't talk to Digby first. But, including all their lovely furniture and stuff. Designs that you're wearing or displaying in your home will be displayed as well. Please keep in mind, and that goes double for your TPC information. Okay, activate Street Pass for Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo on this system. Okay, he's breaking the fourth wall here. Cool. <laughs> Excellent, I'll be sure to get your Street Pass features rolling for you right away. Okay, cool. I should have set this up beforehand, but it's okay. Maybe in next episode we'll have some Street Passes to look at. Alright, thank you for waiting. From now on, you can exchange information via StreetPass. StreetPass will continue to run even after you close the software, so please don't worry about anything. When you're tagged, you'll receive a note and notifications on your Nintendo 3DS system. I'll look forward to all your future visits. Alright, let's just go ahead and go back down to the town. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to retail, and then we'll talk to Isabel, and then I'll get started with these paths. I'm probably not going to show much of me setting out the paths, but... I'm sure you can understand why. Oh, another thing. I actually should have Punchy moving in pretty soon. I don't see where he set out his house, but one of you guys actually gave me Punchy, which was really nice because I love Punchy. I used to have him in Windhelm and he moved out. He's like one of the main characters in my Animal Crossing Challenge series for The Sims. It's just, I really like him. I think he's adorable and he should be moving in soon. So that's exciting. So let's go ahead and sit down here and speak to Isabel. I know I said I was going to go to retail first, but I'm scatterbrained, so it's okay. <laughs> oh, Mayor Wisteria, I've been waiting for you. You're finally ready to start work on improving Solitude. As Mayor, you have two primary ways to influence the growth of Solitude. Okay, I hear the town tune going off. That's another thing we're supposed to do today. I need to check the results of that poll. <sighs> so many things to do. Like, I had so many things to talk about that I'm just forgetting all of them. Perfect. All right. The first is ordinances. Yes, good. By enacting ordinances, you can change the way solitude is run. Of course, you can't just enact any old ordinance you feel like enacting. That would make you a dictator. Dang it, Isabel. Maybe I want to be a dictator. <laughs> Instead, you're able to choose an ordinance out of a list provided to you. Try to choose ordinances that match up with the lifestyles and needs of solitude's residents. The second way to exercise your mayoral power is by starting public works projects. Yay! Public works projects and bu add buildings and features to solitude. I've already taken the liberty of putting together a list of requests from the town's citizens. If there's a request that really speaks to you, please select it to begin development. That's all I have for you right now, but when you decide to start on either of those, I'll explain further. When you'd like to work on an official mayoral business, just sit in that chair and I'll help you out. Awesome! So I don't think we're gonna start a public works project just yet. We might before I end the episode, but I want to get the paths all laid out first. The paths aren't going to lead to the entire town. I'm just probably gonna have them between like the town hall and the town plaza and like my house and the villagers houses and we'll go from there and like add extensions for public works projects and whatnot. But I'm gonna go ahead and look at that poll real quick, see what won for the town tune, and I'll get back with that.
Okay, so the poll isn't complete just yet, but right now the Sailor Moon theme is winning, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I really like that one, and that's what it is in Windhelm, so I'll probably change Windhelms to be the Dragonborn theme. Okay, so I have it brought up. Let's go ahead and talk to Isabel about that. Hello, Mayor Wisteria. Is there something you'd like to inquire about? Town Tune. Well, the Solitude Town Tune plays in multiple places around town and serves to tell us what time it is. Our current Town Tune is okay, but I always like change. So if you have ideas for a new one, let me know. Even if you're not a musician, you should try to compose a theme that captures the essence of solitude. Okay, so I'm gonna do this real quick. Okay, so let's see if this sounds right. Yeah, I think that sounds pretty good. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do that one. Let's have Isabel sing it. Allow me, ahem. So cute, yay. Oh my, what a wonderful theme. It's like music to my ears, literally. I'm sure this will be a big hit with the townsfolk. We'll start using it right away. Okay, so I'll probably just change Windhelm to be the Dragonborn theme, and yeah. Okay, so let's go to retail now. We have quite a lot of stuff to sell. Oh, I really like this town tune. It's so cute. Okay, let's go ahead, talk to Reese. I want to sell. We'll go ahead and sell the snowflake. The fossil, what's that? Folk shirt, we'll go ahead and sell it. Oh, I forgot. I also bought a halo. We won't be selling that. What's this one? Doctor's mask. Okay. We don't need a soda case. We'll sell that. And like, honestly, who uses stationery in this game anymore? Uh, so yeah, we'll go ahead and sell all that. We should also open up that thing I forgot to deliver. Ooh, that's a pretty good price. We will take that. Okay, so let's see what was inside this present. Looks like it's some clothes. A jungle camo tee. Okay, so we're gonna sell that too. I feel bad. I don't remember whose that was supposed to be. But yeah, we'll just go ahead and sell it. Okay, so now I think I'm going to go ahead and stop recording at the moment. I'll be back whenever I finished with the pants because this is probably going to take me hours and hours and I don't want to try to edit all that footage down. So yeah, I'll be back in a little okay, bit. Okay, so mini many hours later as you can tell i think i was recording earlier around 1 p.m it's now 10 p.m and yes most of the time has been spent working on this i did go shopping and eat dinner obviously Ooh, a train is going by look at that and i also lost about three hours of work and had to redo it so that's pretty fun but yeah anyways i'm going to show you guys what i have so far if you'll remember, I do have markers for things like separate paths and trees and bushes and public works projects. So you'll see a lot of things like this around. That's all it means. They'll be gone eventually. I know it doesn't look that great. And this path isn't the path that's going to be permanently here. I do have one that's kind of similar, but it has a border around the edges. I'll put a picture here. I think that'll look really nice. I really like this one though. I kind of want to use it a little bit throughout the town. We'll see what happens. I don't know. This is just the layout that I have so far and I am still going to be adding more to it. This is all I got done today or like all I got. I got a lot done, but there's still a lot of work to be done. Anyways, here we have the train station. Obviously, I'm going to have kind of how I have in Windhelm. Like there's a little bit of a outline right here. I think that looks really nice. Uh, hmm, which way should I go first? We'll go this way first, I guess. Here, I'm going to have, like, a little sign. One of the, like, do not run signs, because, you know, it's good to remind people sometimes. <laughs> and then we have, like, bushes and flowers kind of alternating. These rocks, like, are all in the most inconvenient spot. Oh, and I also feel like I should tell you, in next episode, we're going to be going to Windhelm because... I actually borrowed my golden axe from my other town because the axe I bought broke and there were a lot of trees to be chopped, which is actually why I lost three hours of progress because I had my other mare over here and then I forgot and walked too far away with this 3DS and it crashed and I was very sad, but it's okay. I got it done again. 
But yeah, down here leads directly to the beach. We're gonna have alternating bushes and flowers. The bushes that I want in this town are all going to be blue hydrangeas. I think that's how you pronounce them. Because in Windhelm, I'm using a mixture of all of them and it doesn't look very good. I've been slowly replacing them all with hydrangeas, but in this one, I'm only ever going to plant blue hydrangeas. So if you ever, like a lot of people will come and bring me gifts of like money and everything like you don't have to do that i want to make most of the money on the series or in the series on my own but if you have blue hydrangeas and you want to share that would be great i'll pay you for them if i have the money but if i don't obviously don't bring them to me because i feel bad and no <laughs> and then down here i want to have the illuminated clock surrounded by flowers i think that will look really nice uh, hmm, we'll go, we'll go this way. I don't have the flowers and bushes laid out for over here. I am going to do that later, but this was one of the things I had to redo and I was too lazy to do all of it completely. I just wanted to put the path there. So I'm not going to be keeping Keaton. Yeah, I'm not going to be keeping this villager. So I kind of had this go that way. And we are going to be keeping Willow. So I tried to make it blend in pretty nice with her house. Uh, here we're gonna have some more bushes and trees. Here I want our lighthouse because it's kind of on this cool little, I don't know, edge? <laughs> I don't know. A cliff, that's the word, yes. <laughs> and then up here is retail. And then if we go this way, uh, I want to have an illuminated arch right here. I think that'd look really good. We have the town hall. I kind of did a triangular little pathway for this one because I was putting too many squares like everywhere. I figured I should probably do something different. And then this just leads back to where the clock's gonna go. Hmm, I'm afraid I'm gonna miss something. But I wanna show you guys all this work that I just put into all of this. So this villager, I think this is Limburg? Yeah, Limburg, we're not keeping him. So I went ahead and had the path go through his house. So whenever he moves, we'll complete the path. Uh, I want to have a bridge here, so I went ahead and left that right there. Oh, Pudge is sad. And Willow's angry. What What's going on here? <laughs> but here, I think it'd be nice if we had a metal bench. I think that would look pretty good. And then let's go back up this way. So here, I want the cafe. <laughs> Y'all might notice, I really like planning out towns. Like, it's so fun to me. I don't know. It's, it's addicting. It's fun to, like, just have everything all planned out before you even get the public works project. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I want the cafe to be here. Uh, this kind of connects to the town hall. So if we go this way, we're not going to be keeping Pippi, right? Right? Yeah. We're not going to be keeping her. So I kind of have these paths like branching through her house. So yeah, once she's gone, once again, we'll complete that. Uh, and then I want another bridge here. I think that would be pretty useful. It'd be close to my house, which would be great. So we'll go ahead and cross this bridge. Oh, we ran into a chicken. This villager, whoever, Kelly, I think. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not used to everyone's houses yet, but she's not going to be staying either. So I went ahead and just ran this through here. And then over here, I think I will have the police station and uh, this rock, like, it's it's been soiling everything because I wanted to kind of have it centered because down here I'm gonna have another player house but couldn't have it centered because of this rock but <laughs> here is going to be a fountain and then an illuminated arch and then another one and then another one because I think the tunnels of illuminated arches look really cool which reminds me if you notice that any of the public works projects are too close together and I need to fix it let me know I think I got it all right but who knows but then, yeah, here's my house, which is eventually going to be a blue palace. It'll look super cool. And then this part over here is going to be repeated over here. This is just one of the things I had to redo, so I didn't put it back in. But yeah, that's going to be the entrance to my house. It's going to be very grand. And then if we go this way, Fauna is, or not Fauna, <laughs> Fuchsia is staying. So I tried to get it next to her house so it'd look nice. And then down here, I haven't quite finished it, but we have the town tree, which now looks like a butt. That's pretty grand, but Red's actually here. So I wanna see if we can still buy something from him. 
I think I have most of the paintings memorized, like which ones are real and which ones are false, but I still might have to look it up. I don't know. Oh, could this be your first time here meeting old Red? Well, ain't that lovely. I'm always happy to meet fellow art lovers. This is Red's Gallery, where we specialize exclusively in the finest art you'll ever see in this world. This is your one and only chance to buy a piece of famous art for a bargain that can only be crazy. <laughs> But of course, since these are all really rare items, we only sell one item per customer. Why you ask? Because a bargain this crazy wouldn't be fair without some limits. I'd be penniless. So come on in. Don't be shy. Look around all you want. <laughs> okay. So, uh... I think actually this one might be real. Oh gosh, it's hard for me to see in this... The way I'm filming this. That one's not real. Mm, ooh, that one actually might be. Hold on, hold on. I don't think that one's real. Okay, maybe I didn't remember this as well as I thought. I thought that this one, if it wasn't real, it had like weird lumps on it. Well, I guess it kind of does. No, wait, it isn't real because it looks like a little alien ship. I think it's this one. Should we risk it? We're going to risk it because if it's fake, I'm just going to give it to my mayor of Windhelm because it's wintry. So, you know, it, it kind of fits in. So, yeah. I, I think this is one of the ones that's always real. I don't know. <laughs> Whoa, I see you've got eyes only for that scenic painting there. I'd say it has eyes for you too. I must say, that's quite amazing. So between you and me, I'm selling it. Oh, well, oh gosh, that hurts. All right, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> Whoa, really? What a shock. Well, obviously you'd have to be a, as crazy as me to pass it up. Let me just get that sweet, sweet payment and we'll all be set. Okay, got it. Well, then I'll mark this scenic painting as sold. Everyone else is out of luck. Don't you worry, I'll wrap this up nice and safe and mail it to you as soon as this exhibit is over. Okay, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and leave here. Oh, also I got stung by bees. You may have noticed. Yeah, there was a lot of trees to be cut. I got stung by two bees, I think. And also I caught a dung beetle. So we need to take that to Blathers eventually. But yeah, I'm going to fill this area in. Eventually I was lazy, so I didn't. But yeah, eventually it'll all be filled up. I'm probably not going to fill it up right now anyways until we use the actual path so that I can use the right QR code on it and not have to redo the whole town, which I'm basically going to have to do anyways, but that'd save me some pain, I guess. Uh, here, I'm really excited. I think in next episode... I might move in a new villager because I want somebody else to have all the paths, not this character. So I think I'm going to move them in here. And hopefully this is far enough away. Like this is where the house's edges are going to be. These are just flowers. But I want to have the illuminated hearts on either side. If I have to, I can move this path down one. Because I think that'd be really cute to have illuminated hearts on either side of the house. So hopefully that'll work out. And then down here, I found where Punchy's moving in. That is a very... Like, what have these dung beetles been doing? Oh, there it is. I scared it away. I didn't even see it. But yeah, here's Punchy's house. He kind of moved in an inconvenient spot. The path can't be, like, right next to him. Or it could, but then, like, this would be off center. And that would drive me insane. It actually originally was because I had this path going, like, right here. Like, these two spaces. But then this was off center and I, I couldn't have that. So, yeah. And then here is going to lead to the bridge again, and then just pull back up this way, and I think that's everything that I did. Ooh, ooh, another thing I wanted to tell you guys about was I literally have no idea what to do with this little sliver of land over here. I was like, oh, it's a narrow piece of land, just like how I have in Windhelm. I can just throw the campsite back here, too. And, like, there's even this nice little... Oh, I forgot. This rock is fake. I broke it earlier, but then it respawned because I'm silly and forgot that I was using the, like, wireless thing. But yeah, this rock is, like, right here, and I can't do any- oh, it's the money rock! <gasps> I, I missed that because I, like, turned, but- oh yeah, yeah, dig a hole there. <laughs> okay, yeah. We didn't get everything, obviously, because I was blabbing, but yeah. Oh gosh, my inventory's full. I can't really put the campsite here. I don't think. I might be able to. Or I could probably put it, like, right here? I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with this area of land. So if you have any ideas, 
Let me know, because I could run a path, like, along the train station down here. I don't know. I'm probably going to fill this place up with QRs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I haven't even gotten rid of anything. Brilliant me. But, um, I don't want any villagers to move down here because it's so narrow. It'd be kind of hard for me to run a path if they were, like, above, like, like, up in this area at all. I don't know. It just wouldn't look very nice, so hopefully no one moves up here. I think I will, actually speckle QRs all around the town where I don't want villagers to move. I'll probably do that sometime before next episode, hopefully, so that maybe we can start moving in some of my amiibo card villagers. That could be cool. I don't know, because I feel like I already have a lot planned for next episode in visiting Windhelm and everything. Let's see, was there anything else I wanted to talk about before I got off? Oh my gosh, why? That was the wrong button. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else I wanted to talk about. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here. Let me know what you think about the layout. Do remember, this isn't the path that will be staying here. Also, you're not really seeing it in its true colors since it's nighttime, but it's pretty close. I think this new webcam that I have picks up night colors a little better. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go, because I need to edit this video so it can be out by the time that hopefully it is out. <laughs> That made no sense, but if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.